Second Ezra chapter 15, 16, verse 8. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and a great death. The beginning of wars. The, the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of yeah. evils. Now it speaks about the um the beginning of sorrows because we in New York, which the state we're from, or the city we're from, um they are sharing um, a curfew, and right now it's 10 o'clock, which, you know, the way he saw operate, he, he deals with um, gradualism. Mm -hmm. So it's it gonna be 10 o'clock for right now, but eventually the time is gonna go lower and lower and lower, and you're gonna place more restrictions. So the main focus right now is they focus on um, Thanksgiving. So they're gonna use that as an excuse that people not following CDC guidelines and um, the so-called, you know, virus is being spread through, you know, people, you know, gathering through Thanksgiving. Because Esau have a um, thing called problem reacting solution. So they create the problem while they react to bring in the solution. So, got read that again? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. So the beginning of sorrow and great morning. So they're talking about the vaccinations and um, the penalty for not receiving the vaccination. So if you is you living off government assistance, your your government assistance could be pushed back and or held back if you if you're not vaccinated. Go ahead. The beginning of famine and great death. And you know, you went during what was the springtime. They mentioned how the summer that we come, we going into right now, we could expect um a famine of biblical proportions. So we we going into to a famine. Right? The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. So excuse me, I woke up Saturday morning to the news you had in DC, what it was about like a, a hundred million? My girls, um, breaking news, man. The virus in DC right now. And right now? Yeah. It says pro Trump, um, pro Trump rally in DC descend into violence, arrests as Antifa, BM, Black Lives Matter supporters rushed out. So yeah, you know, so that's what's happening. Like I, I woke up this morning, you had they was talking about the um the Trump the Trump um march like tr like Trump supported marching for the the election that Trump being cheated and then they were saying that they could expect um Biden's supporters to um counteract this um march for the Trump. So you know, soon we seen that, you know, like what to expect, you know, you know, a lot of fights because of ideas and belief. That's like the new bloods and crypt now. The 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 Republican Party and the Democrat Party. They turn to new bloods and crypt. Yeah. Go ahead. And the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold famine and plague. Tribulation and anguish are set as scourges for amendment. Now, scourges means um, that's a, that's mean to whip as a punishment. Mm -hmm. So it says scourges set as an amendment for sin. So this is the penalty for breaking the law of the Most High. So these things are taking place in the earth because the insubordination of the laws. Because when we have insub 
in subordination of the law, you have judgment. That was it. That was it. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Second Ezra chapter 15. Let's start at uh, verse 10. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I, yeah, um, it says, Behold, my people, which the people of the Most High is the Hebrew Israelites. Today they are known as, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You have Israelites scattered throughout the four corners of the world that may look like other nations. Because it's all about the, the, the seed of the man. Okay? You are with your forefathers. It says, um, they are, they are led as a flock to the slaughter. Okay? And an example of that is our people not being able to um deliver themselves from from the the, the, the um the slayer, which is the so-called white man, which is the Edomites. Okay? That's why they are uh, coming coming at us with this great wrath, man. Trying to take away your your, your God given rights, man. Okay? Trying to take away the little that you have, man. You you know, famine, you know, your food, you know, they want you to get a vaccine in order to, you know, to, to buy things, you know, to, to go places. Okay, you know, you want to go to certain restaurants and events. You gotta get the vaccine, man. That's that's the new that's the new trend. Yeah. It says, uh, I would not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt because this place was not set up for our people to dwell here forever. All right. It was it's gonna be a point in time where the most high is gonna deliver his people out of this land, which is spiritually Egypt. Okay? Because this is the place where the twelve tribes all 12 tribes are in our bondage, okay? It says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. And those plagues, one of those plagues is uh, this pestilence, which is the uh, coronavirus, okay? That's that's um, that's um the pestilence, that's the plagues that the Most High is, 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 is um, smiting America with, the whole world with. Okay. You see, um, a thing with sheep, sheep will follow um, they leader for, for safety. So, you know, you see Jake, which is the sheep, they looking after, you know, different, you know, political parties to lead them to safety, where safety is not going to come from political parties. In fact, um, safety is going to come from the Yahweh Shah. Um, um, get on Hosea, I think one and seven. I will save the number of both on an arrow. So that's what they're looking for. They're looking for safety from political parties. Whereas the Lord said in um, Psalms, He said, All oh, that my people have turned to me, I will soon have subdued their enemies. So they're looking for um, the, the enemies to go down, but they're going to the enemies for peace. And that's not what that's not why the most I set up America. Most I set up America for their, their punishment. And um and they're looking for peace, and they're not going to receive peace. I got it for you. Is it a more on that? Or? Yeah, it's a little. No, let me finish that last verse. Um, it says, uh, it's like your um, Yeah, it says, And smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. And, you know, America is, um, of course, modern-day Egypt. How do we know that? Because America exercised and followed the format and custom of ancient Egypt. This is how they get their power on the left hand side. Go ahead. It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring. So, the, the punishment the Most High is going to bring for the insubordination of breaking the law of the Most High. You know, so when you break the law, that's why I tell you, you know, I believe it's in Job. Uh, um, it speaks about um, different kingdoms going down because these kingdoms all came into power, but it wasn't exercising the law of the Mosai. So this is why um, they all went down. It says, They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seeds shall fail through the blasting and hell with, and with a fearful 
constellation. So they that sold the ground also will go into like, you know, the investment that people put into this world, this life. You know, people work 10 years, 20 years to build up their annuity. They, they work to build their 401k, which they, you know, different retirement plan. So when they retire, they have something to fall back on. So there's nothing to fall back on. These people that spend how many years in school, they're going in for their graduates. And guess what? Everything that they invest into this world, they're going to lose it. And um, get the one Hosea. I got it. Hosea yeah. chapter one, verse seven. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah. Now, what he mentioned about the house of Judah is going is really talking about all the tribes, because mercy became on all the tribes. God, and will save them by the Lord their power, and mm -hmm. will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle. By horses. So those are actual weapons, you know, those are actual weapons that's on earth. So the way the Lord is going to deliver us, it's not going to be no man the Lord's going to raise up. He's going to have like all these different AK-47s, machine gun, uh, bazooka, you know, like he's playing the game GTA. It's not going to be nothing like that. The way the Lord is going to save us is through um, Yahweh Shah. And when Yahweh Shah returns, Yahweh Shah is coming with an army of angels. And he gonna destroy it, same time delivering. Go ahead. It says, nor by sword, nor by battle, nor by horses, nor by horsemen. Because that, that deliverer is coming, or, or that delivery is coming through your house shop, um, through the chariots. So that's how we're gonna get out of here. Precept. Mm -hmm. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter eighteen, verse eight, verse seven. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and the destruction of the enemies. For, yeah, top. It says, so of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous. So out of that you're going to come the salvation of the righteous, lest which are they left. Okay. And the destruction of their enemies. And the destruction of our enemies. So when the Lord returned, the Lord, he's coming to destroy but at the same time, he's coming to deliver the elect. So the Lord, he has a plan for us. You know, right now, you know, you know, things seem rough. And, you know, it seems like we, we driving through and hitting bumps on the road, driving through a flat tire. That's how it feel, the life you're living in. But guess what? The Lord has a plan for us to deliver us. And um, the, the, the circumstance we're undergoing right now is going to change. And we're going to receive peace, whereas the ones that have peace right now, the, the role is going to be reversed. Yeah, the scriptures say, Yahushua said, woe unto them that laugh, for they shall mourn and weep. Woe unto them that are full, for they shall be hungry. So the roles are going to change, like the brother said. Verse 8, for wherewith thou didst punish our adversaries, by the same, thou didst glorify us whom thou hast called. So, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, like the brother building on, just like during the time of Egypt. When we were saved, our enemies were destroyed simultaneously. And just like in New Egypt today, because the Bible refers to America as spiritual Egypt. It says, for wherewith thou didst punish our adversaries, because the Lord punished our adversaries, which was the Egyptians, also known as the Mizraims of that time. By the same, thou didst glorify us, when thou, whom thou hast called. And who is the people that the Lord called to be his people? Are the Israelites. Because mm -hmm. only Israel, the Lord promised to be their God, and they would be his people if they keep his commandments. So when the Lord sends his son to save the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, he's also going to be destroying and punishing our enemies, which is all the heathen nations and all that partook 
and the downfall of our people. That was it. You got something? Yeah, that's something. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 52, verse, verse 2. Shake thyself from the dust, arise, and sit down O Jerusalem. What, what chapter is that? Uh, Isaiah chapter 52. Oh, okay. okay. Start at 1. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. <clears throat> so it said, awake, awake, um, put on thy strength, O Zion. Uh, Ozaya, and we will go from there to uh, Romans, number 10, 13 and 10. How time wake up out of sleep? Right. Because, you know, a lot of Jake, they have their spiritual pajamas. What they mean by spiritual pajamas? Meaning they're not aware for, of the events that's about to take place. You know, all, all they have is memes and jokes to post on Twitter and Instagram yeah. how 2020 was a fucked up year. Right. right. That's why I say um, they could discern the stars, they could discern everything, but they could not discern the time we're living in. Like, okay. go ahead. Put on thy be beautiful garments. No, I said be put on thy beautiful garments. And what we what we wearing right now is very luxury. But um, this is not the garment the Lord's referencing to. The beautiful is, is the scriptures. Mm -hmm. So we put on these, you put on the truth. That's why um, it says, um, let the priest be clothed with righteousness. Can you actually put on righteousness? No. But if you can put on spiritual righteousness, mm -hmm. that's yeah. what Yahweh said. Um, he mentioned about certain men just don't cloak for their sins. Now, a cloak is a, is a cloth. So there's no covering or cloth to cover up their sin, their nakedness. But O Jerusalem, the mm -hmm. holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. And that's represent towards the other nations because what happened when the unclean, the other nations came in? They took us into slavery. They took us down. So the Lord's saying these things are not going to take place no more. And we got to go and live in peace. We're not going to be, you know, you know, working to 60 years old to receive a fucking, re excuse my name, to receive a retirement plan or working two jobs. Just to, to just to make um ends go by. You know, you stressed out, you had an edge, your back hurt, your body hurt. That's not that's not the what the most side have in store for us. The only reason we're going through this is because we sin against the most side. So the most side is bringing is showing his wrath. Real quick, let me get on to um Romans 4, I believe in 15. Romans chapter 4. Verse 15, it says, because the Lord worketh wrath. See that? It says the Lord worketh wrath. So what happened when you break the law of the Most High? We bring the Most High's wrath. And this is what we undergoing right now, the wrath of the Most High from breaking the law. So when we turn over back to the Most High and repent and, and make adjustments within our life, then the Lord will show us mercy. This is why we we doing shows. This is why we go out there and teach. We pray. And we do what we do because we seek it, we seek in peace. You know, because if you ain't tired, you if you ain't of this, that means you of the world. You know, it's the reason why the scriptures say the Lord is gonna wipe away all tears. Because the light is gonna be going through it. So when the Lord deliver us, you know, we're gonna be in peace. We're gonna be happy. But this this is not something to get comfortable in. The scriptures say, oh, we sign cry for all the abominations that be done. All right. You know, we got, you know, it vex because we come in the spirit of life. Right. If he was going through in Sodom and Gomorrah. When you gotta wake up and you leave your your uh house and you see uh homosexuals, lesbians, you see pedophiles, you see you see other strange people, you know, that's not a good nation amongst you. You know that vexes you, man. You know you see your, you see your people uh, sagging their pants, smoking weed on the corners. You know, and like most of all, they don't like Jay got this attitude. They don't know, and guess what? They don't want to know. You know, Chris, Chris Rock made a joke: not not satisfied a nigga that not knowing. And you you see that like. Niggas love not knowing. I mean, I don't give a fuck about that. that how's that paying my bills? They ain't, they ain't paying my rent. And that's how they feel towards it. 
but the most I have is a plan for them. And and they plan the plan the most I have for them is not gonna be, you know, safety. It's gonna be destruction. Yeah. Which I that. I see. Somebody, 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 got a, somebody put a scripture on the comment board. What, what channel is that? GMS. Oh, GMS LA. Uh, so it it brings up some of the scripts on the comment board. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, what's the, the comment? Yeah, got it. What, what what's the comment you got? It's on, uh, from GMS LA Ash. It's in Job 29, verse 14. It says, um, put on the righteous the righteousness mm. and clothe me. You know, you know why he posted that? Because um, we was talking about exactly. his word as being a um, clothing. Right. So, you know, when you read, what was that, um, Isaiah 51? 50. 52. Awake, awake. Put, put on that beautiful garment. So when it said to put on that beautiful garment, it means you go back to the to the scriptures. So that's what we're doing right now. We're returning back to the cloth. Quick precept. Revelation chapter 19, verse 8. And to her was granted that she... Should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. That's right. That's self-explanatory. So the fine linen or the, the white linen represents us being pure. It didn't have no stain, it had no ketchup stain on it. You know, or anything, you know, Jake. <laughs> you go up in a project, Jake. They got Kool-Aid stain and ketchup stains and hot Hot sauce stains and they white t shirts and shit like that. But the gong, the white gong we put it on is none of that. Because it's the righteousness of the most high. It's pure. Right. Unblemished. Unblemished, uh huh. Yeah. What you be um, this, uh, What you got, my life? It says um Job twenty nine verse fourteen. I put on I put on righteousness and clothed me. It's good by judgment. What's, this, what's what um oh, Cordy, what is that? Job, 20, Job 29, verse 14. Oh, okay. It says, um, I put on righteousness and clothed me. My judgment was as a robe of the dead. Yeah. Did. So he, he put on spiritual righteousness, you know? And that's what we're doing when we, you know, come into the, the faith and we dove into the scriptures, you know, and make these adjustments in our life. You know, we put on righteousness. Yeah. Say, say that's got okay. uh, like brother going into um lot how he's back with the with the conversation. Um what's that? Uh, second pages uh, two and seven. Uh, two and two, two and seven. Two and seven. Uh, but what was the one when it said well I believe it's three and eight when 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 he said uh the put the conversation. Yeah. You know, the word that's conversation. Two. I'll get it. Two yeah, yeah, you get it. And that's 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 go the common conversation is also going into the uh, uh to the, not just conversation but the way they carry themselves right you know and um it was very vexing because why they didn't carry themselves according to the i got it all right bring it out. second peter chapter two verse uh verse six with an overthrow making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly. Because what happened is in Solomon and Gomorrah, we all know that was a lot of homosexual activities and uh, well, it's much more bestiality. You know, um, what's that speaking with the dead? Sexual and morality. And morality. And morality. Yeah. Sexual and morality. Yeah, uh, uh, necromancy. Um, all these things, all, all manner of wickedness happened in Solomon and Gomorrah. Bestiality. Yeah. yeah. Bestiality, pedophilia. pedophilia, you know, and, and the Lord destroyed destroyed it by way of uh, basically nuclear fire. All right, and and America, or this so-called white man's kingdom, is really a, uh, leading in the same way as Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, you know, that's that's why um, the men of the Lord are angry. All right, because Lot was amongst them, but the Lord told Lot to yo, get up out of there and don't look back. And that's the same spirit the men of the Lord is, is coming in. All right, we try and get up out of here, we ain't looking back, man. All the things that was in the world before we came into the truth, we're leaving that in the back. All right, and we're going towards uh, the, the ways of the Lord. Well, that's right. Uh, let me read on. It says, uh, and delivered just Lot. Vexed 
with the filthy conversation of the wicked. And if you live with just Lot, back with the spirit, with the, with the, with the what filthy conversation of the wicked. I mean, if you fill up the word conversation up real quick in the blue letter. Filthy or conversation? Conversation. All right. Uh, it says, uh, the Greek word for conversation is and uh, an astrophe. An astrophe. Uh, an astrophe. Yeah. And it says, uh, man of life, conduct, behavior. There you go, man of life, conduct, behavior. It's not it's just not just a word. You, know, you don't just come out one day and say the words, and then you go back to the world the next day. This is actually a lifestyle. Yeah. You know, living. Yeah. 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 Wait, you say that? No, no, no. This is actually a lifestyle, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord's Statue Commandments, you got to really uh, become one with this word, man, to the best of your ability. All right? And these things actually vex Lot. Because why? Because Lot was a man of the Lord. All right? And and, they, and what they was doing was totally different from the laws of the Bible. Just like today in America. All right? When, when, when Obama came in office, everybody praising Obama. This man brought in homosexuality. He brought he be put homosexual on the pedestal. All manners of folly. You know? It says mm -hmm. Vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelling among them. That's 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 the elect. The righteous man that's the elect dwelling among them. I'm sorry. I say son, one yep. thing. Yep. Um, now, um, Lot will be, he was considered to be a just man. Now, the word just is the word, the same word you get, um, justice, or justify, where the word justice means to administer the law. You know, so a person go to court and they receive injustice, what happened? The law was not administered. So something happened where politics played involved and, you know, the law was not administered. So when the scripture speaks about Israel, it, um, it was a just people, meaning, you know, the Lord gave us the law to administer the law, to follow after the law. And um, Lot, it said, um, Lot was um, vexed, I meaning he was grieved with the they, they state of conduct, you know? So it was a lot of the break on the law going on, and, and Lot was just grieved, and he was out overpowered with more wickedness than righteousness. That's all I want to add, brother. Hey, we all got a moment. You know, when we see some wicked shit, mm -hmm. and we can't, you know, sometimes you want to scream, but sometimes it'd be unwise. You might be at work, you know, and you see a homosexual working side by, working side, by side with a homosexual, man. Yeah, you can't say nothing because you lose your job, then you can't pay your bills. Yeah. So it's like, all you can do is walk away, pray in your mind, like, Lord, please, Lord, take these motherfuckers down. He's Ecclesiastes 77. Surely oppression make up a wise man mad. No, you know what the word oppression means? The word oppression means uh, unjust treatment. You know, so what they go to work unjust again. So oppression is, is when um a person suffering from the law not being administered. So it said oppression, the 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 results of um the law not being um uh, administered because the word oppressed, you get the word press, meaning somebody's suffering, you're being pressed down. So, pressure make a wise man mad. So, if you're wise, you know this is not how things are supposed to be. Right. It says, uh, uh is it on that? It's yeah, yeah, surely oppression make up a wise man mad, but a gift destroys the heart. Now, a gift is, um, will be considered, um, something that's given to somebody to sell out. Like, we always talk about Farrakhan, Jesse, Jesse Jackass, Isle Sharp Tongue. Now, guess what? They all under the payroll, under the so-called white man. That's why you only see them in, on TV when a, the time is perfect for them to exploit it to make money. Yeah. After that, you don't see them no more. Because the what the gift destroys the heart. So they're all in it for the money. They don't really care about the well the well being of their people. Because they're not the leaders of these are not the people that the Lord set up to lead the flock. The men you see right now, the men you see in, um, in different states, these are the men that the Lord set up to lead. 
and let's bring it to today's terms, you know, with this whole COVID-19 and the pandemic and then the, pres the presidential election, you know, instead of our people rebelling against it, they're for it. So they're not wise because they're not mad. They're not mad about being oppressed. They're not mad about not being treated justly. They're not mad. The scriptures say, surely oppression make of a wise man mad. Uh, hey, bro, I had somebody tell me, they was like, well, all the racist thing that Biden did was over 40 years ago. Over 40 years ago. Show me, did, show me the last racist thing he did five years ago. This is Jake talking. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa, you've got all the evidence that the person is racist, but you, you quit to forgive Esau. So they'll, they'll forgive Esau for all the crimes Esau did, but guess what? They don't show that same um, mercy towards other Jake. You know, right. they don't, they, their hands not a stand to mercy other Jake. Right. If that's the case, Bill Cosby wouldn't be locked up right now. And um, you see you see a lot of Jake go, like Chris Brown, what was that, how many years ago? They still haven't let go of the shit that Chris Brown beat up Rihanna. Exactly. You know, they're still holding that against against them. Exactly. But they they quick to forget Esau. Anything Esau do, you know, they, they'll forgive him. Like, well, show me what Biden did yesterday. They, they, they always gonna find no excuse. Cause they want they want to believe that Biden or whoever whatever president gonna come in is gonna be the Messiah. First, right. you had Obama already. Obama was there for eight years, and guess what happened? It's the same shit, even worse. So if it ain't work to Obama, guess what? You think a, a cracker is gonna fix it? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's it. Like Jake to see by this point, like you. You know, you know what they say the um the, what they call um insanity? Yeah. A person keeps doing the same thing, right. expecting that's, a different that's, result. Right. That's that's what the, the definition of insanity. These niggas are insane. They're insane. But, I'm sorry, you, you wanna say something? Nah, just to build on what the brother's talking about, what was the last racist thing he said? <laughs> the nigga, which is a cracker devil eater mike, known as Biden, he said, if you don't vote for if you don't vote you for Joe black. Ryan, you ain't black. What the hell? How the hell aren't you your nationality if you don't vote for him? Mm -hmm. So what they're trying to say is, which is obvious, you ain't who you are, the people of the Lord, <laughs> or you ain't black, whatever the hell that is. Like, if you don't vote, black. if you don't vote for Joe Biden, you barely made a mockery. Because a lot of our people, they worship the so-called white man. Yeah, they think that they still uh, think that here it is. It's two thousand twenty. It's about to be two thousand twenty-one. You still got niggas out there that think. Uh, who the world calls Jesus Christ is a so-called black man. I mean, it's white man. Some of the time, so-called white man. Okay, then you know, going back to scriptures, you have our people. When the Lord was actually on the scene, which He was the King, the King of the Jews. You know, what did the King of the Israelites? What did they say? Oh, we, you know, our King. We have no king. We have no King but Caesar. We have no yeah. King but Caesar. But that's the spirit they no coming at. They show and it is clear as day. In this present time now, those same that same spirit is all. This is your king. Yeah, and then another thing, this this dude Biden, he's been in the political world since the fucking eighties. Mm -hmm. He has yet to do anything to fix the problem of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. What makes you think he had the solutions today? If he ain't had the solutions in the eighties, but back then he was calling you predators. He was calling you thugs, super predators. super predators. That's what the Clintons and Biden was calling you, by words and proverbs. So ain't nothing changed. There ain't no new thing under the sun. He passed the crown bills and locked niggas up. Yeah, he was a partaker in that. Quick precept, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, which is the curses. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, Thou shalt see it no more again. Who is the people who, in history, who is the people that's well known for being transported as cargo, as as like cattle or beasts or Negros. product? Negroes. You so-called Negroes, man. It was the transatlantic, <coughs> transatlantic slave trade. You was carted off in slave ships 
like you was cargo, like you was some type of property, like a fucking can of sardines. So it was property, and they want to be property again, and and that's what um this whole microchipping is going back to is like to make you a full slave, right? Because he saw he went to the ability to um he have a um a god complex. Like he wanted the ability to to be omnipotent, to give life, take life. So he felt like he felt if if he able to distribute distribute this um, microchip, he will have that ability. Right. And guess what niggas gonna do? Niggas be okay. Yeah. As, as long as I can still receive my food stamps, my such and that, because niggas got this state of mind. They, they like to they like handouts. Right. You know, niggas never want to work for anything. They like handouts. And like the most I they created us oh, to be a people of handouts. Mm -hmm. The most I created us to be kings of this earth. Appreciate you know? We we we're supposed to be royalty. The scriptures say, is Israel a homeborn slave? Mm -hmm. Is he a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Like the brother said, the scriptures, the Lord told us that we was be a nation of kings and priests. Be ye holy, for I am holy. You're not holy looking for a handout from the heathen nations. You're not holy. You're not being holy, or you're not being a king or a priest if you go into the so called white man kissing his ass looking for re redemption from him. Yeah. Let me finish this. Ariaba, you got it. It says, Thou shalt see it no more again, the land of Israel. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. And when you look up that word bond, it means redeemed, to be bought back, saved, delivered. Ain't nobody going to redeem you or save you from this captivity that you're here in America, man. Not Joe Biden, not Joe Dirt, not Donald Trump. Uh, was was uh, George Bush, Barack Obama. Barack Obama, Abraham Lincoln, Kamala Harris, Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Ain't none of these entities going to save you. They're a part of your oppression and your affliction. They're the leaders in your captivity. That's that's what really the whole. Um, the, the Democratic Party was really set up for to keep Jake at a um, pacified, to keep you pacified and never have it, because as long they figured out, as long as we get them handouts, guess what? These people are never gonna have for their own. You don't right. gotta worry about any, you know, businesses. Um, you give me a um, nigga, the nigga um, last name Jones and Sons <laughs> business, right? You know, Johnson and Sons. If it is a Johnson and Son, guess what? It's a cracker. So, like, because that's the biggest fear. Jake, 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 um, Jake being, um, not being reliant. Right, right. So, so they're like, go, go to school, go to college, get an entry level for one of our enterprise. Don't start your own. Right. You know, hey, a woman, go to school. So, you know, get to graduate. See, by the time you're done, you might be 40. And you know what I'm saying? And we don't got to worry about you having kids. So, Jake thinks, Oh, they kept. Yeah, that's their mind state. No, they st strategically figure out a way to depopulate you, and right. you not never have it to destroy you. Right, that was it. Yeah. You got something, something right? That just, something that stood out that the other brought out was that you know Jake rather be a, a servant than to be a leader or, or basically a follower, even though we're followers of Yahweh Shah. Right, and then when you go into the word, you're back in Revelation chapter 13, verse uh, 16, about the word mark. You know, going into the imprint, um, the mark branding upon horses. That's what you do for property. And Esau has that, like that, that key the word. Yeah, the sheeple, that God complex. He wants to be like the Most High, right? And go, going with his devices. And then when you go into the Strong's definition. Um, a scratch or etching stamp as a badge of servitude.
So if you take that ship, you're going to be under servitude. You're going to be a robot. You're going to be a servant for Esau. And yeah. you're going to be property for Esau. And guess what? If you become property for Esau, speaking only to the two-thirds because your heathens don't matter, guess what? You're going to be utterly destroyed. And you're going to have this shame on you when you come back into the kingdom. Yeah. Hey, hey, when it's like when you captivity in captivity and slavery, you, you, you uh, your slave masters for your Edomite, they'll, they'll, they'll take their initials and, and burn it and brand it and print it in your face. Mm. That's what they want to do with them. They, um, the, they did that during the time of the Greeks, they had a um, a branding, mm -hmm. you know, Omega. yeah, yes, they had a branding um, thing that they did to our people, but uh, I got a scripture. Mm -hmm. This is um, Psalms 81, chapter, I mean, Psalms chapter 81, yeah, verse uh, verse 13. It says, Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel walked in my ways, I should, have, I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. Okay, you go into it. Mm -hmm. And, um... You know, and this is talking about you, you, you so-called black suspects, Native Americans. Okay, y'all want to continue to be niggas. Y'all want to continue to be spicks. Y'all want to continue to uh, worship the so-called white man. You know, y'all want to continue to vote. Okay, y'all want to continue to protest and march. But that's like the brother said. That's insanity, man. Because you're not you're not getting a a, a new result. It's the same old result. Thank you. The, the so-called white man is showing you that he don't give a fuck about you, man. That's why the scriptures say, Thank who you. shall bemoan thee, O Jerusalem? These other nations okay. don't give a fuck about you, niggas, man. Yeah. Okay? And it says, um, I have, I, I should have soon subdued their enemies. Because the scriptures tell you that if, if all Israel face the east, repent and pray and call upon Yahweh by Shemel Shad, the Lord would have delivered us that same day, man. Yes. But that's, that's never gonna happen because of the two thirds. Because of the two thirds, you know. Yes. But you know what? Though that's why I said, um, most have preserved themselves seven thousand men that was not by me to bow. So shit, if that if it was based off all Israel's returning, we'll be fucked. We'll be doomed. We'll be doomed. So excuse my language, but um, that's why we're we're blessed even that the most have set up an election. So. You know, the most I just looking for is elect to return. And anybody that don't want to get part of the program, which is a two thirds, most I is gonna, you know, do an ethnic cleansing. That's it. Cause the hand join the hand, the wicked but, shall not go unpunished. I got something real quick. Now he he went he went to um, Revelation thirteen chapter and going into other uh, mark is synonymous with a uh, brand mint you put on cattle or onto a slave as a uh, symbol of you know property. So this is First Corinthians seven and twenty-three. You are bought with a price. Mm -hmm. So how was you bought with a price? We was bought through the blood of Yahweh Shah. Right. So now we belong to Yahweh Shah. And it reads on, "Be not ye the servants of men, mm. because we already have our master. Yeah. Our master is Yahweh Shah. So now when you get that microchip, you're saying that." Guess what? The the bankers is your master, and that's what you choose to serve. So guess what the Lord's gonna do? He's gonna you know lead you to the demise. He's gonna destroy you. Right. The Lord said that you can't have two masters. Mm -hmm. A you servant love one or and hate the other. Or hate the other. You cannot serve the Most High and Man. So it's either you gonna love money, or you gonna love the Most High. All right. They see it. And that's, that's the problem with two thirds of our people. They choose. The money, the paper, not even money. It's not even real money because it ain't backed by nothing. Exactly. It's imaginary, less than monopoly money. Zeros and numbers. It's really fake, yeah. but they choose to serve that versus the creator of the heavens and earth. Madness. That's how we know who the nation Israel is. Yeah. The Lord, when the Lord said Israel is rebellious, rebellious people, he meant just that. Now, you look, break down the word rebellious. You got the word rebellion, it means to war, to fight, fight, and you got to read, means back or against. So, it means to fight against. What are the people that's fighting against the Mosai? But his people. 
You know, that, like the other nations, they, they were gladly accepted. Like, oh, yeah, we the people? Okay. And what, what, what are the accolades that come with being the people of the Most High? Yeah. You know, that's what he want to know. Why people, I don't give a fuck. Right. They don't want anything to do with serving the Lord. You know? know, well, the Bible is written over and over. There's too many trans, um, transliterations of the Bible. Yeah. You know, man wrote the Bible. You know, they come with every excuse in the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't, man wrote the Bible. They will believe in a zodiac that man wrote. Thank you. you know what I'm saying? Jake is backwards. They'll believe in carbon dating. Um, <laughs> They'll believe in DNA tests. But they don't believe the one thing that actually links them to who they are. Yeah, I can't see it. How is it real? Well, you can't see radio signals, but you got phone signals, right? Exactly. You know, but you can't believe there's a power that exists that you can't see. You have Wi-Fi. You, you, you cast into your TV, to your phone. You yeah. can't see the signals and everything that's going on that's causing the connection. But it's there. You can't see air. But you yeah, exactly. You, you but can't you see the air. You get that. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed <laughs> is he that uh, have not seen and, and believed. That's right. So they 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 not blessed. What are they? Cursed. That's right. Yeah, brother. Uh, Isaiah chapter fifty-two verse three. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for not, and ye shall be redeemed without money. So yeah, Yahushua is coming back. Not to he's he is the redeemer. He's his name means he saves. So he's coming back not to buy us with money. He's coming back to take his people, starting off with the elect. First and foremost, his, right. his elect, electos in the Greek, meaning his chosen, the 144,000. And then the, the, the two thirds are going to be reborn through their loins, you know. But guess what? It, that means if he's, he's not coming back to buy them with money, he's not coming back in a nice manner. He's coming back to do what? War. He said he, he left as a as a sheep and he coming back as a lion. Mm -hmm. So what you what, what does a lion do? A lion takes. A lion's an alpha, and he, guess what? His, his his one of his titles is alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. So he's coming back to take the crowns of the kings during World War Three, which is a future prophecy that's going to come to pass, point blank period. And if you don't like it, take it up to the Lord. That's right. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you don't if you don't believe the prophecies are, are, are unfolding right in front of you. Coronavirus, a man should go into a city but but can't. That's coming to pass. Yeah, got, um, yeah, uh, Israel, you know, once Israel try to do something to Iran, you know, that's gonna spark, you know, that scripture that says the least of the flock. So mm -hmm. You know, so that's just like what it said. Uh, real quick for the brother you said. If you don't believe uh, you're gonna be in the that's right. Romans 3 and 3. For the son did not believe, shall the unbelief make the faith of the Most High Yahweh without effect? Most High forbid. You got it, Q. Right. I read it again. I got it, brother. You got it out. Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Yeah. What if someone, what, what if uh, some didn't believe? So what? We don't care. We're only talking to the elect. This, this, these are this, like, just, we're just, it's just like how the prophets of old wrote these letters. They wrote these letters to who? The Hebrews. They wrote these letters to the Israelites that the Lord is dealing with. Keep going. It says, shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Is, is, is so because they don't believe, is that supposed to shake you? Is that supposed to shake your tree? No, you're going, you're going to keep moving forward. Just because they, look, the Lord gave you the gift of faith. So if the Lord gave you the gift of faith, how are you gonna let someone that doesn't believe in the Lord shake shake your uh, shake you in your faith when the faith when the faith came from the Lord? That's true. Keep going. He says, "Most high forbid, yet, yea, let the most high be true, but every man a liar." So every man that doesn't believe in the Lord, the invisible power, Yahweh Bashim is a I almost cuss is a liar. So. The Lord is a man that can't lie, and he's going to back up his word, that the, the words that we're reading and, prop, and, and using that's going to uh, 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 even break down, going back to uh, uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. We're breaking down the asunder. We're, going, we're, we're, we're breaking down y'all's spirit with the Lord's words. So at the end of the day, 
Y'all can talk all the, 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 the bullshit that y'all want, but guess what? The, the prophecy ain't gonna lie. That's right. The word is always gonna stand. The Lord, the word is always gonna stand. Point blank period. And the Lord's words is like fire. Yeah, and that's what that's what sparks y'all people to buck up. That really were the ones that said, "Crucify and crucify, and let our blood be be before on our children." Mm -hmm. So woe unto you, woe unto you, and woe unto you. Hey, uh, I say something on that. Mm -hmm. um, the Lord said, uh, "Present your bodies a living sacrifice." How mm -hmm. did that? Not only did he do that spiritually, but he also, also did it literally. He had to die for the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. And that was that was the Yahweh Shah leading by example, all right. Because not only did the apostles back then die for the name of the Lord, but these times we're coming into Jacob's trouble, we we may also have to face that same judgment for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And if that be the will. That's why the scriptures also say, then will you know who are. Uh, was my second. chosen. Well, yeah, well, my chosen was a second Ezra's. You know when it, when it talks about yeah, yeah. Then then when really you know who the chosen, because you gonna have some men taking that chip. Here it is, men out here preaching this word. That's all they know. And then when all hell breaks loose, they turn around and take that chip. <laughs> That's gonna be somebody's lot, man. You know, no will I pray, and I hope it ain't mine. You know, it ain't these brothers' lots, but. That's gonna be somebody's lot, mm -hmm. you know. I got That's it. right. I got it for you. All right. Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse twenty-three. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. You know what? Let's go up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, let's go up a little bit because that's 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 a real meaty uh, prophecy. That's right. Um. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Seventy-one. Yeah. Okay. Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse seventy-one. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. Yes, yeah, somehow Esau mm -hmm. ultimately the elites are you calling the Jews the attention of bankers. They ain't the Jews, man. The Jews are the so-called Negroes, like the name, Americans. Okay, but just like everything else they stole, they stole the title, they stole the name. Okay, right? But still spoiling so, and so we're gonna put top again. Yep. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 71. Mm -hmm. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. Yes, yeah, you like madmen sparing none. Spare none of who? The so-called Negroes, I tell the Native Americans. you the ones they ain't sparing because they know that you're the true enemy that's going to the Bible. Which you're like madmen sparing none going into those uh, those troops that they, they'll bring in. All right, those foreign troops, dirt the troops, and those guns in the military and uh, the weaponry, and they'll bring them in and they'll try to destroy the nation of Israel. Ultimately, ultimately they'll try to destroy the elect because they know who we are. All right, they know who the men out there signing, trying to push this bird, throwing the apostles and the elves and uh, great millstone. They know who we are, man. Ain't no sense to hide from them. This is their kingdom, right? Yep. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Those that fear the Lord, exactly. The average nigga ain't fearing the Lord. They doing whatever the hell they want to do. Come in adultery, shaking their bed. All right, they doing selling drugs to people. They doing what the hell they want. You fear the Lord, you ain't gonna do all that stuff. Okay, so ultimately they want to destroy the men that fear the Lord, but they know we amongst uh, the heathens, the two thirds, right? right? Verse 72 For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Mm -hmm. And and what they're saying now, you gotta take the you got you gotta have proof yep. that you took the uh, vaccine if you want to, uh, what is it, uh, uh, attend certain events, yeah, games, and sports. A theater. Right. So this man's coming down, man. He started, hey, hey, he's slowly, uh, gradually, gra uh, gradually coming down. To the coming line. down. But, yo, he's about to show his teeth, man. Yeah. All right. Like you see a, uh, a little chihuahua, you think it's all fun and games. To that, to that, that dog show his teeth. And you remember, oh, this is a dog. Mm hmm. And the day, this is a dog. He has teeth. All right. Um, verse seventy three. <laughs> then shall be, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in a, in the fire. Right, they're gonna be tried, man. The chosen is gonna be tried. You gonna know the chosen, also a way of spiritual power, right? But you gonna know because they're gonna be tried, man. 
All right, they're gonna try. They're gonna go through it, especially with the off buddy micro chip. A lot of we all gonna be tested for that chip, man. If you wanna take it or not, and some men are gonna take it. All right, so we we, we pray for the Lord uh, mentally fortitude our minds to not take that chip, but we know some men lot is gonna to take that chip. Yeah, I got it. Verse seventy four. Here, oh yea, my beloved. Said the Lord, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. Jacob's trouble. Tom, Jacob's trouble, right. But I will deliver you from the same. Right, deliver who? The elect. Not, not, all, not, all, not all Israel, you Negro, I said Native Americans. You can't expect to be doing all this wickedness in this world and expect to be delivered at the same time. Nah, you, you, lay, you, you made your bed, you gotta lay in it. Right? Verse 75 Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh. Now that's talking about the nation of Israel. Be not afraid nor doubt the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, we're not going to be afraid or doubt because we ain't going to have no doubt in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? Yep. For Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is your God. That's right, man, and that's our salvation. All right, now that's not talking about all all Jake, not all Jake, because our people are wicked as hell. All right. The church speak about them surpassing the wickedness of the, of the so called white man, Esau. And they're going to be judged right along with the so called white man. But the elect of our people, all right, they, they're going to have salvation. Right. So, uh, any last words? Yeah, I got a scripture. No, we don't close right now. So, um, any last words? Oh, no. um, I mean, basically, you know, this is the fourth quarter, this is the, the beginning. Uh, really, the, like you know, the beginning of sorrows. Once after Thanksgiving, you're gonna really see stuff unfold. And if you if you can't see after that, the Lord's really not li uh, dealing with you, you know. And I mean, good luck, because you know, only the Lord, only only the Lord can t deliver you out of whatever He's gonna put you through. And you uh, know, we we head into the town with the uh, um, the great humiliation and the great slander. So, um, like this brother stated, you know, it's in the spirit, because, you know, I, I was thinking about this at camp. We were, we were talking about it at camp. Um, you know, it's going to be somebody like to, you know, to get humiliated and, you know, and turn against the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, because there's going to be a lot of humiliation going, a lot of slander among the, um, the brother that's doing his work. So, you know, we pray that we stay strong to the end and we're going to be a model for you you have a while you have a shot let it so be so um to close you're just going to say make sure you pray you fast and you know pray that you of the elect and be found worthy during these times so with that we're going to close we're going to say all praises and glory to your house peace shalom, shalom.